in the keys method, what we're going to do here is take all of the keys that are in the hash table and return them in an array. So I'm just going to bring up our hash table here. We're going to have a couple of items in here, bolts and washers. So in order to return all of the keys, the first thing that should be obvious is we're going to have to have a loop that's going to start at the beginning and then start going through looking for items. And when it gets to an address that has items, we're going to need another for loop to go through this array to return the keys from these key value pairs. So I'm going to put that back and we can start coding this out. Okay, so the first thing we have to do, we know we're going to return an array with these items. We have to create that array. I'm just going to call it all keys. Then I also mentioned that we're going to have to have two for loops. So the first for loop is going to go zero through six through the length of the array that we have called data map. Then we're going to have to have a second for loop to go through these items. And that's going to look like this. So as we're going through that first for loop, we're going to start at this zero. And that doesn't have anything at that address space. So we don't want to run the second for loop at all. So what we're going to do with the second for loop is we're going to wrap this with an if statement. We're only going to run that if there is something at that address. So then we're going to move across until we finally get to that index of four where we have a couple of items and this if statement is going to be true and then we're going to run that second for loop. And when we do, we will push those items into that all keys array with this code here. Then the only thing left to do is to return the array. So we will look at this code in a moment in DevTools. We will also build out this hash table just like you see it here. All right, so let's flip over. Okay, so there is our keys method there. And this is going to build the hash table that we just saw. So I'm going to zoom out here and I'm going to run this and I'm going to open this hash table. So you can see here at the address of four, we have two items. I'm going to open this and we have bolts and washers. Okay, so I will close this and run our keys method. And this returns an array with bolts and washers. So I'm just going to set one more item here. I'll put lumber in there with a quantity of 70. And I'll clear this. And now we'll run our keys method here. And now we get bolts and washers and lumber. Perfect. And that is our method for keys.